Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and earlier in Flight in Space, we used the Tetrahedral Kite Design Brief to start creating our own tetrahedral kites using the design process. We got all the way down to where we developed a prototype and a solution, and we tested it, figured out if it worked or didn't work, and now we're at the step where, my friends, we need to communicate the results. So, my friends, let's get cracking. I am going to have you create these results with a Google Doc that we're going to turn into a brochure. So please start a brand new Google Doc. And then once you're in, just hit blank. And then immediately share your project with your partner. It asks for a name. Put in your group's names and hit save and then share it with that partner. Make sure that when you put your partner in, you allow them to edit. And then you can immediately send it so that you both can have the project open. The first step on making our brochure is to change the page setup. Real quickly go to page setup and I would like you to change all of these measurements to 0.5. And then I also want the page color to be any of these light colors. Make sure you stay in these two rows as you make them. I'm going to make ours out of a blue and click OK. So that way we've got a sweet background. Let's start with a fancy title for our project. Please click Insert, Drawing, and choose New. When you get here, under Actions, you can do Word Art. Let's type the word Tetrahedral Kite Results. You could pick a different word for the end of it, but I do want you to practice Tetrahedral Kite. And then click somewhere on the drawing area so we can edit our cool words. Once you've got it in place, click on your font choices. Go through and find one that you think is awesome. These you can make really fancy since they are the heading of our project. Later when we pick fonts, we want fonts that are super readable. You can also make these really bright so that they show up, but you don't want to make them so that they're offensive. Those colors kind of pop in a not fun kind of way. That is actually a little bit more useful. And then you can change all the different ways it shows up by doing things like this, where I made the border just a little bit thicker. Find something you think is cool, and then when you're done with that, you can move on to the next part of the project by hitting Save and Close. It drops in really slick, and now we need to get it so it stays exactly where we want. I'm going to make sure mine is on Break Text, so that way my first line shows up underneath the project. Our brochure is going to follow the design process, so we need to start with the problem that we were solving and we're going to make that a heading one make sure you click on heading one not heading two press enter after it you need to type using normal text what the problem was add a sentence similar to this where you mentioned that you were challenged to create a tetrahedral kite and then let's insert an image over here so that our text actually stays to the left and our cool picture is on the right you can insert an image of yours if you have one. If not, if you search the web, we can just find one. So I'm putting in tetrahedral kite in the search. There's all kinds to pick from. I'm going to just grab this one, and I'm going to choose insert, and I'm going to slap it off to the right. Remember, you always do wrap text, so that way you can move it over, and we can keep typing our cool information about the problem before we move on to the next section. Make sure that you type more sentences than me. Uh, add information about what you already knew about tetrahedral kites. Maybe talk about the challenges that you and your partner were going to face as you built it. With all your problem statements in place, let's type the research. Once again, after you type the research, make sure you switch to heading 1. Press enter after that, and then give me a few paragraphs telling me where you researched it and what you found about tetrahedral kites. When you put in your information, for instance, if you found a website, add a link to that website as well. Remember, as you track down the website, never stop on the Google search results. Actually visit the website, and then this is the link information. When you copy the link information, move back to your project and select the words where the website are, and create a link using the link button. I have got my screen squished to half, so that means I have to go down here to find the insert link. Your screen may be full screen so you can see it all. Leave the text up top and paste the link down below and then apply it so that way the link is visible. 
the same way if you found a YouTube video make sure you share it as well find the video again click the share button and copy that link grab the word YouTube video and then choose that same link button to click that link so it is available as well keep these web pages open as we are going to cite our sources when we're finished make sure you add the requirements and make it a heading and make sure you list that you had to have four cells only allowed to use straw string and paper and maybe you can talk about how we had to conserve our paper and work as a team as well the next section will be where you talk about developing your prototype make sure once again you switch to heading one and then down here you need to tell me about the ups downs successes and failures as you are developing your pro prototype make sure you have at least three to four sentences as you describe what it was like to work with a partner to learn how to tie knots to learn how to attach the tissue paper and get those straws to come together maybe even talk about the tools that you found most useful as you built it once we have completed the prototype page it is time to do our test and results once again make sure you choose heading one Press enter and then give me several sentences telling me about your results. Answer questions like how high did it fly? Was it better when you ran with it? Did it matter where the string was attached? And did the direction of the kite matter? And make sure you also talk about what would you do different or differently next time if you had another chance. When you're done with that, it is time to cite your sources. We're going to do that with Easy Bib, so make sure you do add ons and you've got the Easy Bib, and we're going to manage the bibliography. When you've got that done, make sure you hit the website button because we are doing all web links. And then you can right click and you can copy the link URL, paste the URL up in, and do search. It'll look for the results, and when you see the one, so ours definitely was, or mine was the Tetrahedrokite on Instructables. I can hit select and then I can go find the second one. You can have more than one YouTube video, but once again, you copy the link URL. You make sure you're on website. If you ever see it just spinning, you forgot that step and you can paste it and search it. It finds the YouTube video and I'm going to hit select on that. And when I've got all of mine, so I had a total of two, you may have more. Add the bibliography to your doc and it will be down at the bottom. Work cited and you can see the different things that we used. I'm going to close my bibli bibliography and I'm going to go full screen. And this is where you and your partner can double check to make sure that your project looks awesome. Make sure that you've kept it to one page. That is going to be our brochure rule. You can add more than one picture to make yours look more awesome as well. Alrighty friends, make sure that your project does look totally awesome. When you've got it all complete, make sure that you do 75% or so so that it fits on one page. And then use the awesome snipping tool to get a screenshot that you can turn in of your project. Remember we always hit save and we always put it in our downloads. Give it the name, this would be Kite, and then turn that in to Google Classroom. Alrighty friends, I hope you had a blast flying the kites and I hope you also had a ton of fun making this sweet brochure that shows all the skills that you learned and that you understand the design process. If you did enjoy it friends, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.